everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Michelle. It is week four of our Soar Into Summer reading program, and this week's selection is perfect for a hot summer day. It's Ice Cream Summer, written and illustrated by Peter Sis. Stay tuned after the story because I'm going to share more information about our Soar Into Summer reading program with you. Ready to read? Here we go. Ice Cream Summer, story and pictures by Peter Sis. Dear Grandpa, thank you for your letter. So far, it's been a delicious summer. Let's read the letter from Grandpa. It says, Hi, Joe. How is your summer going? I hope you will tell me about what you learned this summer when we meet for our special trip. Love, Grandpa. Oh, I love getting mail, don't you? I am very busy. But don't worry, I'm not forgetting about school. I read every day. I am conquering big words like tornado and explosion. Ah, looks like he's reading the flavors of ice cream. I write a lot. I am even creating my own book. I practice my math facts. 10 scoops plus three scoops. Sometimes I trip over a simple equation, but if I slow down, I always get it right. Word problems are never a problem for me. I work them out on my own and with the family. Let's see what his word problems are. If there are 65 days of summer and I eat one ice cream cone every day, how many ice cream cones will I eat before school starts? If each scoop costs 50 cents and I have $2 in my pocket, how many scoops can I get? If all six of us eat one ice cream cone with two scoops, how many scoops do we eat in total? If the ice cream truck has five strawberry shortcakes and four of us buy one, how many are left? At day camp, my friends and I study all sorts of fascinating things. Today, we learned cartography. That means how to make a map. We take exciting field trips too and explore lots of new places. Oh my gosh, there's ice cream everywhere. <laughs> Even the Statue of Liberty has an ice cream cone. You can be sure my brain is still working. I'm reading the encyclopedias you gave me. I am diving into world history. I'm traveling to ancient China. Look at that, it says 2,000 years ago, first ice cream. And researching the whole European continent. And I wouldn't forget American history. The founding fathers and I have a lot in common. Oh, it says here, President James Madison serves it, ice cream, topped with strawberries, from First Lady Dolly Madison's garden at his second inaugural ball. I am discovering great inventors too and dreaming up some inventions of my own. Wow. As you can see, Grandpa, I've been working hard all summer, though I always take a break on Sundays. <laughs> Get it? He's sleeping on an ice cream sundae. I have definitely earned the special trip you mentioned. I can't wait to find out where we're going. To the top of Ice Cream Peak? Wow, this is the best summer ever. The end. Oh, that was a sweet, yummy story. And I love how the boy climbed Ice Cream Peak and it was an ice cream cone at the end. Did you notice that the whole story is really a letter that the little boy wrote to his grandpa? Have you ever written someone a letter before? Hmm, maybe that's a good project for you to try this week. Why not head over to my Facebook page, Storytime with Michelle Book Club, and let me know who you're gonna write a letter to this week. And remember, it doesn't just have to be words on the page, you can also draw pictures like the little boy did in his letter to his grandpa. I can't wait to see who you're gonna write this week. Now, this is the fourth book in our Soar Into Summer reading program. If you'd like to see the first three books read aloud, 
go ahead and click on this link over here and I'll put more links down in the description below. And you can keep up with us. Every week I'm gonna be sharing a new book read aloud just for you so we can keep reading all summer long. Until next time, happy reading.